Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to do foil embossing relief. It's a super fun project. And once you do one, I'm sure you're going to be ready to do another one. The materials you'll be needing today is tin foil aluminum foil, just regular aluminum foil, yarn, cardboard, and you know I like to get my cardboard from old cereal boxes, cereal box cardboard, any kind of cardboard that you can find around the house, lightweight cardboard, but I love cereal box cardboard. Your Sharpies, you definitely gonna need your Sharpies for this project. Most definitely will need your Sharpies. Sharpies, a pencil, and your craft scissors, okay? All right then, let's get started. Let's get started. The first thing you are going to do is take your cardboard and you're going to draw just abstract lines, circles, whatever you wanna draw on your cardboard Okay, you can get started doing that. Take your pencil. I'm going to draw a line all the way across my cardboard like that. I'm going to draw some lines going across like that. Just lots and lots of lines. And these lines that I drew on here, I did it in a black Sharpie to make sure that you'll be able to see all the lines from the camera. See? Just abstract lines all over your cardboard, okay? Okay. All right, the next step you'll need, and it's two things I apologize for not telling you earlier, you need Elmer's glue, liquid white glue, and you will also need your Elmer, Elmer's glue stick. I'm sorry, those two things you definitely will need in your material list, okay? So once you have all of your lines drawn, that's when you're gonna take your yarn, gonna take your yarn, and you are going to take your white glue and you're going to put glue on all of your lines. A glue on, glue line on all of your lines that you drew on your paper. I You can take it from here. I take long pieces of string and just start laying it on there. And the glue, you can pat it down into the glue. Just pat, 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 pat it down into the glue that's on there. As you put the glue on there, you're gonna pat it down into the glue. I'll show you one. Draw a line of glue with your bottle. And I kinda do one at a time. I don't try to do them all at one time. You're gonna put a line of glue, and on that line, you're gonna take your yarn and place your yarn right on top of that glue line. And I take my finger and just kind of pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it down. Pat it down, just to make sure that it adheres to the glue and the glue holds it onto the cardboard. That's it. And you're gonna do that all over your cardboard till every line is covered with glue and yarn, just like this. Just like this, all of my lines are covered. You see how I'm rubbing my lines because they're all glued down? Once you do that step, one thing I would suggest, wait a couple of hours until it dry or let it sit overnight. When you let it sit overnight, you'll be able to do it like this. A couple of hours, you probably still have a little bit of movement in it, but let it dry, let it be dry. And all of those strings, see, I wasn't worried about how my strings were going to come off the edge. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to go over all of those extra strings that were stuck on there and cut those off. So you have a nice, clean cardboard without all of those little strings. So you're going to cut all your little strings off, just like that, all the way around, all the way around. Now, here's the time for the foil, for you need your aluminum foil. You're going to take your aluminum foil and get a piece of foil big enough to cover your entire cardboard sheet and, and go around it. But make sure it's long enough and wide enough and long enough so it'll go behind it. 
when you get your cup, your foil, this is a good, interesting part to do. Take your glue stick in all of those spaces that you can put glue, rub glue, 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 in all of those spaces where you can put glue. It'll help the foil to stay down better when you get ready to start on your project. All of those spots, just add glue, okay? This is where your relief comes in. Remember, the project is foil embossed relief. The embossing relief comes in. Embossing, the definition for embossing is a raised pattern on the surface to create an image. A raised pattern on the surface to create an image. So all of that yarn is going to give you a raised pattern on the surface of your cardboard to create an image like this you're gonna rub rub it good especially if you let it dry overnight you can really rub onto those yarn strings and get a good embossed relief like this okay once you rub it turn it over take your glue stick go down each side each side for turn your foil back so it'll be glued down turn it back on each side and then once you have your sides glued down you're going to glue down your top and your bottom okay all right you're going to end up it's going to end up looking just like this all glued down on the back and now you have your front to add your color and that's where your sharpies come in this is the part where you're going to have fun with your sharpies and you, go, you can add color anywhere you like and however you would like to put color onto your embossed relief pattern. Okay? So now let's start adding some fun color to this project. And here we go. I love my Sharpies. So you can pick up your Sharpies. And the Sharpies make a nice foil, stained glass look with the foil. So I love this project. Be careful in your corners and be careful as you are using your Sharpie close to the edges. You don't want to put your punch a hole through your foil and your yarn, between your foil and your yarn. So you want to be just a little careful when you get to the edges. But when you're in the middle, you can go as fast as you like and, and get it all colored in. So your first space. It'll be just like this. I don't know if you could see it. Okay. So you're going to color your whole project. And don't feel that you have to color in every section with a color. Don't color the yarn lines because you want them to show up as a silver embossed color. Okay. I'm going to show you some examples of ones that I did. And here's the, here's the finished project of the one we just put together. I colored in all of my colors, and now all you see is the embossed silver lines and the color. See, I love it. And you can do anything you want on your designs. Here's another one that I did where I left some of the silver color on to the um, embossing without adding color. I thought I liked that, just leaving out those areas silver, and I love it. But I also know all age boys and girls are watching. So I would love to challenge my older boys and girls to be more creative and try to do a picture. I came up with this picture where I did the sunset with the yarn, draw a picture using the yarn, glue and yarn. And you will have a picture relief also. It'll be in foil, but it, it turned out to be a picture. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed these instructions today. Thank you. I'll see you next time.